News Webcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Byrne. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Tuesday, November 20th. Let's get a check of your forecast with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. Good morning, Kelly. A lot of cloud cover, some fog to talk about this morning. As we continue into the afternoon, there will be some snow showers to talk about. Now, those will not amount to too much, but maybe a quick little coating on the grass with the temperature above freezing. We're not really expecting accumulation to be that big of a problem, and most of that snow will stay up to our north and west. But we will get some snow showers to pass through during the remainder of the day today, so don't be too surprised if you get just a little bit of snow going through today. 42 for the high and mostly cloudy with those snow showers pretty scattered. That wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour as we go through the day today. Tonight temperature falls into the 20s. The sky does clear a little bit, but clouds do return tomorrow along with a snow shower and even a brief snow squall. We are at 36 Thursday. 22 as some Arctic air gets in here. Plenty of sunshine, but the overnight low in the single digits, and we'll be back to the 30s by Friday, Kelly. All right, Stefano, thank you. The driver of a bus involved in a deadly crash last month on Interstate 380 is now facing charges. A state police have filed homicide by vehicle charges against Charles Dixon. Troopers say Dixon had cocaine in his system. A passenger, Rebecca Blanco of California, was killed in that crash. Investigators say she texted 911 just minutes before the wreck because the bus was swerving on Interstate 81. A Monroe County man is going to jail in connection with the shooting death of his four-year-old son. Orion Koch has been sentenced to up to two years in prison plus three years probation. Police say Koch told them he found the boy unresponsive on the floor of his Sailorsburg home in June of last year. He admitted he may have left a round in the gun's chamber and he had been smoking marijuana. While Koch was emotional in court, his defense attorney says this case sends an important message. Lock up your guns. Koch entered a guilty plea in September and will get credit for time served, which is about two months. Those are today's top headlines. Have a great Tuesday.